guys. Okay, I uh, wasn't planning on having uh, cooking tonight, but I'm hungry. Uh, since, since I didn't have a plan, we're just going to wing it. So we're going to make little um, meatloaf cheese cups. Um, they're going to be good because meatloaf is good. Who doesn't like meatloaf, right? So, yeah. And we're going to add cheese to it because cheese makes everything better. And uh, I like putting stuff in little muffin cups. So you can call me the cupcake lady. So, yeah. We're going to get that started. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I washed my hands. Uh, everything that we're going to need is ready. Um, so here we go. Uh, meat. We are going to add Italian breadcrumbs. If you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use uh, crackers or uh, oats, like oatmeal. Um, any crackers actually will do. I've done a meatloaf once and I used a vegetable thing crackers and it, it, it was great. So pretty much anything you can squish up. Crackers, flour, uh, not flour, but oatmeal. Um, okay, so we're gonna grow eggs in there. Onions, any onions will do too. These are red, but you can use yellow, little green onions, whatever you want. Um, what else? Shredded Romano uh, cheese, we're gonna put that in there too. We are gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. Or what is this? Garlic powder, actually. Get a little salt and pepper. I'm running out of pepper. I would put more than this, but this is all I have. So this is all my uh, cups we're going to get. No, I need no salt, actually, because everything's salty. We're going to add some Parmesan cheese. I want mine extra flavorful, so I'm going to add this, but you can skip this step. Uh, this is just onion soup. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Uh, not all of it, just half, we'll say. And then I'm going to mix this all up first. And then we're going to add barbecue sauce to it. That also, you can add whatever you want. We're going to go with some uh, stubs. Nope, nope, I don't want the spicy one. I'm going to go with Stubbs Original tonight, but you can add anything, uh, Baby Ray's or just Frank's, Diana. Here I go making messes again. Okay. Once it's all mixed and you'll see your crackers or your breadcrumbs, add a bit of barbecue sauce. I don't like measuring things. Squish that in there. Okay, so, um, cupcake tin, um, this is a non-stick, and Hamburg has enough grease in it that it usually doesn't stick to your pans or anything, so you don't have to worry about greasing it or panning it or whatever, so usually you can just get to it. So this is the easy way of doing it, um, so, whoop, scoop up a little bit, oh, that's a lot, that'll work, scoop up a little bit, put some in there, I didn't realize I had so much Hamburg, it's gonna be more than six, but I was planning on doing six, we'll do six. So just put some in there. You want to make sure that your bottom layer is still thick enough because you don't want your cheese leaking out before uh, the meat has time to cook. So we're going to add a little bit more here, I think. Okay, so I grab a uh, measuring cup. You can do it with a glass or whatever. So something round. Just push it down. Nice. See, that's not enough. So then you just keep adding meat until you see that's, you know, nice. Let's squish it out like that. That's good. That's not enough. cheese so here I have um, super old uh, marble cheese and I also have smoky cheese so I'm not sure what you're getting it's gonna be a surprise it's gonna be a cheesy delicious surprise stuff that was there and there just like that and grab more Put that on top So finish 
doing this. And then I'm gonna stick them in the oven at 350 for about 20, for about a half hour actually. And then I'm gonna check them. Since it's not the full size of a meatloaf and it's individual little cups, it doesn't take as long as a meatloaf to cook. And then a few minutes before these are ready, I'm gonna pull them out. And I'm gonna re-put the barbecue sauce on top and I'm gonna broil them so it gets a nice thick barbecue crust. And then I'm gonna be ready to eat. I hope so, because I'm starving. I'm trying to hurry up so these can cook. All right, so I'm gonna finish these and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so these are ready. I'm gonna pull these out. Ooh, those look beautiful. Okay, so I took them out about five minutes ago. I put some uh, barbecue sauce on them. I put them back in on broil. And this is the finished result. They smell pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure they taste even better. So I'm gonna try them and I'll let these guys know. Okay, let's see what these look like once you cut them open. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 